Hello all, and welcome to the first video tutorial um, in our class. Today I'm going to cover how to use Hypothesis as our social annotation tool. It's an open source platform that allows us to annotate the readings together, comment on each other's annotations, add pictures. It's a really powerful tool and I think one you're going to love to use. So the first thing you have to do is go to the Hypothesis web page. That is just Hypothesis. Dot is. So hypothesis, but with the is um, as your extension. That will bring you here. Now, if you're using Chrome, it's really easy to use hypothesis. Just click on the install button for Chrome, which will launch the web store, and just click on add to Chrome. And then it adds the link right here to hypothesis. And that's all you have to do. But what if you're a Safari user or a, or, well, are there Internet Explorer users out there? You can be a Firefox user, I'm open source. But so if you're a Firefox or Safari user, you can use this tool as well. Just go to one of the readings. So if I'm in the courses and I go down to one of our first readings that we have to do, I can grab this link here, go back to the Hypothesis homepage, and paste the link in here. So what that does is it puts a wrapper around it so that you can um, just turn the annotations on and off whenever you want as we wait. That will then launch the document within the VIA browser. So if you see here, you see where it says via.hypothesis.is, so you've launched the document. Now you are ready to annotate if you've already created an account. I'm not going to go through the account creation, that's pretty self-explanatory and covered in my hypothesis tutorial. So as you're reading this, you can then edit and revite um, and um, annotate. So, look, for example, so I have to sign in. And of course, the lawnmowers come as soon as I'm doing a video presentation. I wonder if this now what's important is to add the class hashtag edu 573 this will allow me to quickly track all of your hypothesis annotations and then you can click save. The beautiful thing is if somebody was using the Chrome browser they would see your, the same annotations. So here I am, if you look it's the Chrome extension somebody on just left a different annotation there, well it was me but no matter how you open up the document you'll be able to see the exact same annotations and that you can look at the different ideas. Now the one you can also use different pictures too. So if I were and put those in. So I could grab an image and just pop it right into an annotation. Hit the button. I can add an annotation right here.
So add an image, I can click on the picture here. And all I need to do is copy and paste the URL to an image and put that in right there. Dad. I'm recording, Ben. You gotta... And then make sure you put in the hashtag as well. Then when you hit save, the picture will show up. So that's pretty much hypothesis um, in a nutshell. Yeah. Benjamin, I'm recording. I'm in the middle of teaching. What's up? Um, my, 